How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to Did the Future Already Happen? The Paradox of Time by In a Nutshell. Alright, so here's Kurtz to get again with another topic that really fascinates me, which is like, obviously it should fascinate like everyone because we're all in the same conveyor belt, which is time, which that's another topic, you know, like not a lot of people think that time is a constant, like just continue like a line you know like they don't think it's a line they, they think it's a circle or like it's just like you're like dr manhattan from the watchman you know like time you're in it's really complicated like to try to talk about now that i'm doing it out loud but like the fact that like he he represents time like all throughout you know like he's constant he's everywhere you know like in every form of time he's experiencing it all at once which is really really mind-boggling you know so it's really complicated and complex how time actually works like long story short this whole rambling was like trying to establish that one topic but like it, it really does fascinate me like so much like more along the lines of like dread in a way like i know like i love space and like the unknowingness of space makes me like really excited and giddy and stuff like that but like the unknowingness of like time it's it's very dreadful man it's the exact opposite feeling you know but it's still really really interesting it still excites me so much and to try to figure out how the hell it works you know that's another topic so this should be really really interesting and check pretty much every single box i have so without any further ado here is did the future already happen paradox of time do your past, present, and future all exist right now? Okay, we're gonna do the Dr. Manhattan video, thing. Being born and lying on your deathbed at this very moment. Oh, you're already messing with me, my man. The answer could be yes. Oh, but how can boy. That be? What does that even mean? I kind of assumed we were gonna do the circle one. Work? Oh, speaking of circle. The block universe. I'm sorry? Imagine playing Minecraft? Like a child painting pictures on paper. Okay. Each picture shows everything that's happening that's a in, cool the child in a single moment. It's like Franklin. With each new moment, Mr. Fantastic's all kinds child. Of things occur everywhere. People are born and die. Galactic civilizations expand. Okay. You the bus. And our universe kid makes a new picture that replaces the old one. In this way, you get something like a movie. Only the that's moment we're cool. in right now is real. I guess the you could kind of like argue before. that parallel universes now, are the same gone. thing, you know? The future is still to come and hasn't been drawn yet. This is kind of how time feels. Okay. Right? It's Each a very good example, man. The next one. The past is far behind us. The future doesn't exist. But what that... if time Ugh, is me, something I'm scared. else? What if the universe kid has already finished all its drawings Holy and shit. on top of each other? This way, we get a block. A block of time that contains I get the whole it. Holy crap, universe, I get it. All moments that have ever existed or will That was the exist. easiest explanation. Thank you block, so much. In this stack of moments, the past, the present, and the future are equally real and exist at the oh same time. Oh my god, I love this. This feels wrong. The only things that we perceive it does, as real are those I'm things I'm freaking flabbergasted now. over it. How can the past and future be real right now? The problem is that according to the theory of relativity, they kind of have to be. Heavily simplified, relativity hey, says that time and space are not separated, but one connected space-time. When you move through space, you're also moving through the block. This uh -huh. means time passes differently for different people, depending on how they move through space relative to each other. And this also means Dude, that, that what trippy. someone perceives as now is a certain cut along the block, a cut that will depend on how fast they're moving. Oh, oh, oh. So what you think is now We're is adding more dimensions to this now. graph. There are many different I mean, not really, but in the universe <laughs> showing and all of them are equally real. This also means there's no universal past or future. <laughs> okay. This is a lot. You already broke How it. Does this My work? brain is broken. Imagine three Can't alien say spaceships <laughs> a million light years away. Ooh. The first one just hovers in space. 10,000 light not years moving away? relative to you. Green day song. You both experience the same now the same present that is if you had true a magical, instantaneous very trippy but true you could do a video call right now uh -huh. and chat about alien Can things you imagine the second space yeah that, obviously that wouldn't exist 30 kilometers a second about three times faster than a human rocket it's moving differently through the block of time than you are it which is. means it's now man the it's explanation in this video alone With is just to die for the aliens can talk to your ancestors in 1924 
when humanity was discovering the first galaxies outside the Milky Way. Holy crap! The third spaceship wants to visit Earth and is flying towards you at oh, 30 kilometers a second, gusting. moving at the opposite angle of the second ship through the block of time. It experiences yet another now. With the magical internet, the aliens can talk to Dude. your descendants and then, in the yeah, year I was about to say it's like gigantically into the future. has already built cities on Mars and Venus. Okay, so we have three different nows. So which one is correct? Well, all of them. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, the references. So many references. Save the universe. Democracy. The fact that the point of view of all observers in the universe is equally valid. All those nows have to be equally real. But if this is the case, your past, present, and your future all have to exist at the same time. So it's kind of right about right Dr. Now. Manhattan at the very because beginning. For the different aliens, I didn't think this would be the topic. In their present. Or the this main means focal that point. the distinction between the past, the present, and the future is an illusion. Are we still gonna have gladiators? The universe is not a bunch of things evolving through time, like in a movie, but a static block in which the past, the present, and the future are all a bubble, I guess, in a way. You can think about real. it like that. How can that be? Well, think about a galaxy outside the I was literally about to say the marble thing. Away to but the galaxy being in a marble. But even if you can't get there and don't see it, it's still real. The future might be the same. But if the past is not far behind us oh. and the future actually exists, oh, no. then there is no movie. Things don't happen in the universe. The universe just is, is like a frozen yeah. block of dead Dude. cosmic ice with everything that will ever happen already written and decided. Is the future already written? If all times coexist and are equally real, we're getting into like Doctor Strange territory, written. man. But that's not how what you I thought experience was science things. fiction. It feels like you can mold your future with your decisions. It really feels like you're free to choose to stop watching YouTube to not miss the bus. But if the future is Go set back in to the stone, being late for the bus you thing. can't decide anything. So, are your choices an illusion? Well, maybe. Maybe your free Don't will do this is a mirage. Me. Don't do this to me, man. You Let's just the bus keep it time. Already predetermined at the Big Bang. Oh, I think so about that constantly, man. Watching. Except, quantum stuff is ruining everything again. Really? <laughs> Quantum processes can't be predicted, not even in principle. Okay. Not because we're silly and don't know how to do it. According to quantum physics, you just literally cannot predict it. As soon as you look at it, it random. changes the outcome, I think. For example, if you have a radioactive atom, it could decay at any moment, in the next second or in the next million years. Not today. You can calculate the probability that it will decay tomorrow, but no oracle in the universe will ever be able to oh. tell you with absolute certainty if it will do so or not. Okay, thank you. But quantum particles can excessive. change the world. Imagine a radioactive element randomly decays and causes a genetic mutation in a nearby mammal. Is that a platypus? And then many generations later, that mutation has led to a weird <laughs> mix of duck and mammal that makes no sense. Do platypuses or are the, the best. Decays a day Lay later, off him. And the weird creature will never exist. Oh. If quantum yeah, stuff is platypus. really uncertain, the future can't be set in stone. But if the future is an untold story, it can't be real. In We're the same literally way in a cycle of butts is. right now. It's like, but if so this happens, happens, then this happens. But if that happens, then this like happens. The decay of our atom become real. <sighs> Time is, is so wacky, man. Present? Is this now? That's semen. But before we saw that cosmic democracy makes it impossible to define an absolute now. What's Not going yet. on here? It turns out that for every individual object, you, an alien, an atom, the past, the present, and the future are so always So it's quite well literally about your perspective. Your death will always happen after your birth, and only never yours. before, and never at the same time. Uh huh. Now, you are clearly between your birth and your death. So, for you at least, now makes perfect sense. <laughs> I don't if we like don't that. Play tricks like going to the Imagine a hand actually pushing you towards in death. Funny ways no, thank to you. find out what now means, oh. things again start to look ordered and nice, and individual nows seem to exist. <laughs> Can we do something with them? Let's return to our don't block break universe. my brain even further, man. Maybe the block does it's not already contain much. the future, and maybe we just imagined it wrong. Maybe the block is just the past, and a thin layer on the oh. surface is the present. That surface is not smooth. But bumpy and uneven. Okay. It's been made by joining countless individual nows, each experienced by someone or something in the universe. Boiling each water or something. Real and valid. 
and all observers do their bit. So cosmic democracy <laughs> is still true. It's waiting for something to show. As new things happen and uncertain things become certain, radioactive atoms decay, new species <laughs> what a of sentence. mammals arise, people miss the bus, the border moves upwards, creating new time in the universe. Instead of a frozen block of time with a future that has already been written, the block is growing Let's and go. things happen. <laughs> you can again decide your future. I like this Maybe one better. Earlier, so you won't miss the bus. It's way more hopeful anyway. What is real then? I don't Let's know. Recap. We started with time as a movie. What question is that? Well, now I was just praising your other question. Where only the current now was real. Then we found out that because of the parallel universe thing, there are multiple nows, all of them real somehow. Don't which could this. mean that we're living in a frozen block universe where things don't happen okay. and you don't really Just have don't say free parallel, will. okay? And we ended up with a kind of growing block universe where time passes and the I future like is open. So which More is positive. correct? What is real? The present? The past? Are the dinosaurs as real as you are right <laughs> now? What do the aliens on the other corner of the universe think about this? Was that Jurassic Park 3, I think? To be honest, Alan. no one knows. What we've learned are two possibilities to describe time, but they're not the only ones. That's kind of crazy that... Some okay. I was going to say crazy that it's only now two. ...only makes sense near you, but not in the universe as a whole. Uh -huh. Others think that time itself doesn't I even like exist. You. I'm pretty sure you're from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. An illusion of okay, hate your war. And others think that time does exist, but that it's not a fundamental feature of the universe. Rather, time may be something that emerges from a deeper level of reality. Just like heat Got emerges it. from the motion of individual molecules, or life I emerges had that same... from the interactions of called. lifeless proteins. Whoa. We could go on, but... Aren't you about to miss the bus? Hey! <laughs> beautiful! Oh, we went full circle. Round robin, whatever you want to call it, the man. This was beautiful. The abstract and elusive, oh. possibly beyond complete Advertisement. comprehension. Fortunately, there's a vast world of things we do I'm not even going to, like, the universe try, man. This legitimately right broke now, my brain. Thanks to our friends at Brilliant.org. Hey. Brilliant has thousands of bite-sized hands-on lessons in science, maths, and technology, music. and I was going to comment earlier, but Their the music is course, open. Introduction to Probability it always offers is. a practical guide to interpreting the world. You'll master the tools of chance, risk, and prediction while learning to model real-world nah. situations and running simulations of everything from election oh. results to who will win the next World Cup. They even have a lesson on the past and future, where you'll explore how Topical. past outcomes may not reliably forecast future events in the ever-evolving tapestry of time. And since it's always a good time to learn, we've created an entire series of lessons in collaboration with Brilliant. Yeah, that's what's to badass about Cursed Cat and Brilliant, you know? Always These partner up, make Oh, I remember you. <laughs> topics in our most popular videos, from rabies and mammalian metabolism to climate science and supernovae. Think like, just to take the time to do this for people is like one -one nothing short of a amazing. Video. To get hands on with Kotzkazark lessons and explore everything Brilliant has oh. to offer, you can start dark side, but it's Omega. Trial <laughs> by signing up at brilliant.org slash nutshell. And for Kotzkazark viewers, the first 200 people to oh, use I'm our link get 20% of off an annual membership once their trial ends. What's going on? Hmm. Our shop has grown oh. so much over the yeah, years. Yeah, it has. Thanks Beautiful. to all of you. It's still right now, here. It's time to Arms move reach, our baby. precious products to a bigger I warehouse. I check if you're dirty. But should our tiny burbs really have to carry all those boxes? No, I carry burbs. No. Help us out and grab a box in our biggest sale. Sale time! Ever. But first, we'll I give you missed a the tour. sale. I could have gave you a Here, buddy. You can see how our posters are actually created. Oh. And this is how our enamel pins are made. But watch out. I hope not. There are some pretty creepy and dangerous things in here as well. And this is where the deals are crafted. Hey. They'll only be available Stickles. for a short time and as long as supplies last. So head over to the shop now. The birds really appreciate your help. I'm not leaving until I hear whack. Whack. <laughs> All right, man, that was just, it broke my brain, man. Like, pretty much from the very beginning, you know, like the premise alone broke my brain. So like, for him to try to explain it and stuff, it's like, there's too many different probabilities and like too many unknowingness for me to actually like, coherently decide any one of those things you know but like being positive and stuff like that obviously i want to pick the one where it's like rising up and like your des your determination is like 
still yours, you know? It's not like written in stone or anything like that. That one seems way more positive, you know? But like all the other ones, it does make sense, you know? Like, especially how he explained it, man. The whole fact that like, okay, well, what if he drew every single picture already, just stacked them on top of each other, you know? Like that's a really good idea to like break it down into the most basic bite-sized piece you could, you know, for to help me like really digest this. And like, it goes back to like, everything man like pretty much everything resorts back to time you know and it's it's pretty much like one of the more more important things you know to the units of measurements anyway but like the fact that we don't actually know how it goes you know we just assume that it's a timeline but like that could totally be wrong like I'm still on the verge of like it's kind of like Avengers you know where they went back in time and that indicated that turned into its own branching timeline you know like it's not your own timeline it's something else entirely like you pretty much made that timeline because you went back in time you know so it's really really complicated like that and then if you believe in the what I was literally just talking about, you know, the parallel theory and stuff like that, like, you have all these different universes and then, like, every single decision branches off into another timeline, like, that's kind of what I believe in more of what time is, you know, but, like, this, it, it makes so much more sense, man, like, or not more, but, like, it's, it makes so much sense, like, him explaining it and stuff like that, it, it really, really helped, and, like, yeah, I know that's the whole, like, Kurtz to get way, like, that's what they do in every single video, but this one was, I don't know, it felt different to me, like, just for me, my experience in this, you know, like, it really, really, the actual explanation helped me, you know, it's, it, it's literally still breaking my brain, I'm probably gonna have to watch this, like, several times to understand, like, just everything going on in this video alone, not even just the, like, time itself, you know, I don't think anybody's gonna be a master of that, except Doctor Strange, he's got the eye of Agamotto, but well, all jokes aside, man, this was fantastic, like, I love the little, little quirky birds and everything, like, the animation, I don't comment about that much in a in a nutshell videos, but it's still really, really awesome, man. It's just so enjoyable and everything. Everything's so good. The music choice, everything. I know I don't comment about that on the in a nutshell videos because I, I want to focus more on like the science and the topic of these videos, but it's still really kick ass to have them do that, you know? Like they could just have like very, very simplistic stuff, but they make it fun for you, man. And that's what I'm here for. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, become a member, you get videos a day early, and check out the merch. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic. Fantastic, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later, days. <laughs>